You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for Dudley's Decorag Egg Holder. Makes decorating fun. And we'll see about that, Dudley. We'll check it out. Um, there's the top of the box. Pretty neat and colorful. Sky on the bottom, the sides. There you go. And then the back. There's more, a little more information we could read there. It says, uh, push suction cups onto a smooth, flat surface. Place egg firmly between the egg holder cups. And hints to make circular lines, hold a marker or cotton swab in one place and rotate wheel until the lines meet. To make a zigzag lines, to make zigzag lines, rotate wheel and move marker or swab from left to right. Dyes, markers, and cotton swabs not included. Well, let's get it out of the box and see what we're talking about here. And what we're talking about is I need to cut the tape. And I have stuff and supplies off to the side. We're just going to kind of see if and how it works. So suction cups. I might have to get a different kind of counter in here, a surface area here, because this is not good for sticking. But let's go over the rest of the stuff, and then I'll check back. Now, we found these Paz Color Snaps. Just snap and paint. So we're going to check those out. We actually have three packs, so we're not sure how many we'll need for this video, but we'll give it a shot. And then I have those, uh, I'm still sticking to my plastic eggs. I've got four here, and these were from the clay set. And as you can see, they, you know, they hold color okay. I do have more, um, which I'll show you at the end of this video, that have been sitting a lot longer. So let me uh, get something to stick this to, like a, gla a piece of glass or a cutting board, and we'll come right back. All right, I now have put a glass surface down. And then let's just take a look at the bottom. Ooh, that one's stuck already. I noticed they do pop off real easy. So you just uh, push it down. That's the bottom of it. And then it should stay. This side, the suction cup's not the, not the greatest. but uh, And then you take your egg. And this is spring-loaded, so you stick it in there. Now, this is one of those plastic eggs. And then you spin this, it appears. So let's get these out. I've never seen these or tried them. Let's see, what's the rules here? Hold upright and snap. Okay, hold upright and snap. Oh, and then it goes into the, oh, onto my fingers. Let me get this here and set it there. That's one, and it looks like as soon as you snap, and they show this end being snapped. Okay, find coloring on the end of the swap. Hold swab upright so color ring is at the top. Snap the swab at color ring. Keep swab upright. Watch the color flow to the opposite tip. Begin decorating your eggs. That's exactly what happened. Watch. Oh, I broke it off. But that's okay, because you don't need that. In. All right, so now, once it's in there, it's in there. This is supposedly you can spin this now and decorate. So let's see. All right. I'm doing a cross line, but my egg doesn't have a lot of pressure on it. It's still pretty cool though. Let's see if we can make this go all the way to the end, to my base. All right, I get it. Now let me put a yellow in between that one. Start here and spin. Yeah, it's not liking the uh, the pressure. Kind of wobbly. Let's say this is uh, probably not going to last too long. I mean, it works, but let's do another one. As you can see, it moves around a lot. There's maybe not enough pressure on it. Let's snap again. That's cool. 
That part is cool. I like that. Now, these don't come with the kit, remember. Oh, that one really went nuts. I'm going to do all the colors. Now, I have another pack, so I might try something different with that pack. I think you have more than a one-time use. I'm just kind of showing you the different colors. I just dropped one. Here we go. Should be purple. Snap. There you go. Let's get this line filmed. Okay, let's start here. this in. I want it all to look colored. That's pretty good. Okay. I think I'm happy with that particular egg. Let me, uh, well, let me just grab it and move it out of the way. How's that? So I'll take my, these tongs that I've been using. Looks like you got to pull it from this side. There you go. I'll show that in just a second. And then I'll bring in another one. I had a pink one here from another set. All right. Let's get this in here. Stayed a little bit better that time, but see, that's that's no Gouda. All right. Let me see how much more I can do with the colors I have. Here's the green. Let me snap it. And then I'm just going to see if I color dot it. I think, though, for the, the principle of the tool, I do like it. Because you can decorate without having to hold the egg a lot. Which does kind of hinder a lot of times what you're doing. So in that sense, it is pretty cool to have, especially if you do a lot of eggs. Okay. Now I'm making a spotted egg. <laughs> and then I think purple is my last color. Let me find a good spot. So based on the number of uh, eggs, now I've done two eggs and I'm pretty much out. So if you're going to get these, I'd get a bunch. If you're going to do a lot of decorating, I mean they work good as you can tell. I do think I want to get a few more eggs in here and then we'll come right back and I think I'm going to open up another pack and do a few more things. So hang on just a second. Alright, I am back. I shifted some things around so you can see those eggs. I brought three new eggs in, the ones in the back. Now those were done. If you take a look at the clay creation set um, with the regular dye and in that video they did sit for a while, but it didn't seem to take a lot of color. But as you can see now, this is one from that original set, and here's one that sat longer. So if they sit longer, these plastic eggs do pick up the dye better. So what I did here on this one is, I actually finished the top. So I took what I had left in the original colors, and I just uh, circled a little bit. It can be any color you want, just to kind of finish the bottom. That's all I did. And there. So I didn't go into any more detail than that. This one here now is ready. Let's pull this out. And as you can see, it's nicely speckled, but I'm going to add maybe a few more here, one there. And on the bottom. And one here. So there is my speckled egg. Now I do have more kits to do, 
And I think in the last kit, I'm going to bring all the eggs that I made in so you can see them all at one time. Let's bring in this one here. It got a lot of extra color on it for whatever reason. And then let me open another pack. And then let's get started here. What could I do? What could I do? Hmm, what would you do? Straight lines instead of swirls? Um, maybe lines going across this way to give a new effect? Let's do that. Crack it, and then it fills up. I'm going to turn it this way now and go like this. Okay, see that? I'll put these, it's hard to put them in there because then it soaks up in that cardboard so I'll just lay them on my glass top here, give you a better position as I do this, and then I'll snap a red. And we'll come in this way, this is what I'm doing, I'm just drawing a Laying it a little more flat. Okay. I'm starting to like that. And we'll get the next color, the blue. Basically got to remember to the left or to the right of the green. So I'm always to the right of the green because the last one's going to go in between that. I just think that's so neat. This is to the right of the red. Okay, so let me just twirl that around so you can see. Pretty cool. I can come back to if I want to and, you know, really color in all the different gaps by switching off. I guess I'll do a little bit of that here. A little bit of blue here. A little bit of blue here. A little bit of green. And I'm probably going to want to do something on the top and bottom of the egg. Right? Cap it off with a color. So I'm going to have to let that dry. And when it dries, I'll come right back and finish off the ends. And then we'll recap the video. Okay, so this is dry now and ready to handle. It didn't, doesn't take long to dry, but... I think I need to finish the top and the bottom. I don't have any yellow, so let me, uh, oh, I didn't break that one. Let me break the yellow. And go for that. Ooh, that comes out. When you first crack it, there's a lot in there that comes out. Let me do this, because it's not going to give me a solid line. And then I'll trace, let's say, the red just on the outside edge. To give it that final look. Okay. So there you go. There's my eggs. Remember that pops off real easy. Let me uh, get a few more things here and finalize this video. Well there you go. I should have been prepped for my uh, final words here but uh, I wanted to get my Easter egg shape plate my edible Easter grass. If you haven't seen that, I bring it out in another video and show you the bag. Then I had a little bunny as a decoration to add to my little display. And what I just noticed and what I think I like the most about this is that the eggs on the outside are very attainable. They're not these like perfect uh, master designs. They're just basically, you know, have fun, 
do whatever you want, and you can still get some cool stuff out of it. So thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, again, check in that description below for a playlist or search our channel. And then at the end, I'm going to bring all the eggs I made together in one final video. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.